guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. It is currently Thursday morning. Cal is upstairs. I don't know if you can see him. He's back there folding on the laundry. In case you guys missed the last vlog, we finally got a washer dryer and I did literally six loads of laundry yesterday, like massive loads. So Cal is now folding them and I'm gonna make some breakfast, so let's go. All right, so since Cal is folding all the laundry, I volunteered to make breakfast. He said he wants his usual, which is just eggs, turkey bacon, chicken sausage, and toast. I am feeling something a little bit more sweet today. I think I'm gonna try and make banana protein pancakes because, I don't know if you can see back here, I have some very, 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 very ripe bananas, which means they're gonna be extra sweet and delicious. So I'm gonna use one, mix it with some protein powder, maybe throw in an egg, and then fry it up like a pancake, and we'll see what happens. All right, before we begin our breakfast, though, we need to work on these dishes because I can't cook if there's no dishes. Gotta put these away, gotta do these. I just harvested some basil from my basil plant. I'll have this with lunch or something later, but it was touching the light and all dying. We're gonna clean. Oh my god, I one day want to make lemon bars too because I have so many lemons. That's just a side thought. Okay, dishes now. All right, guys, dishes are done. I cleaned all the counters. I washed a couple of the pots and pans by hand and then dried them so I can use them for breakfast now. Oh my gosh, you know what I realized? I haven't had a working dishwasher and or a full-sized washer or dryer in almost four years. I now am obsessed with this dishwasher. It's so great. It's super energy efficient, which I love. And for the first time in almost four years, I have like a normal-sized washer dryer. How much I can fit in one load here, I could have done at my apartment in like three, maybe four loads. I had the smallest little washer dryers which were super cute but just not very functional. Now I am so happy you guys. But yes, I am watching Alex on my iPad which is so fun. It's like a little mini TV that I can take around and watch with me. But I'm watching her vlog. We're gonna get to breakfast now. I'm getting hungry. Okay, banana into the bowl. As I said, again, it's very overly ripe. It's gonna be super mushy which is what we want. So wow. It's gonna be sweet and delicious. Banana in. Now I'm gonna mash this up. It should be very easy because it's a very soft one. There we go. Now, if you wanna keep it super clean, you can just do a banana and two eggs and that's a really easy protein pancake recipe. But instead today, I want a little more protein. I'm gonna do just one egg. Oh my God, it's a strong one. And then a scoop of protein powder. Today I'm gonna to use my new favorite one which is called Munchies from Elani New. You guys, this is like a Munchies flavor obviously. So it's like pretzels and cookies and popcorn and chocolate. To me, it just kind of tastes like really caramely and it has like a little salty flavor and then also has chocolate chips inside or like little chocolate pieces. It is to die for and I feel like it'll be really good in this because the banana and like a caramel chocolate sounds so good together. The other day I blended this with my coffee and it was the best protein coffee I've ever had. Okay, so I'm gonna do a scoop of that. Wow, it's really low in sugar. That's pretty interesting for how sweet it is. Okay, here is our current consistency which is too thick, so I'm gonna add some milk. You can add milk or water. I'm just gonna do a little bit of oat milk to loosen it up, get all the clumps out. This actually looks like perfect now. All right, now we're gonna cook this like pancakes. Okay guys, this is super random, but I am the biggest fan of chicken apple sausage, and this is the best one that I've found yet. I'm pretty sure we got these at Trader Joe's. They're really small and so delicious. And then this is really good turkey bacon. I believe this is also from Trader Joe's. I honestly only like the really processed turkey bacon which I know is not good. Like the Jenny O one is my jam. But this one is the first one that's like more natural. There's only eight ingredients in it. So if you're looking for a recommendation, I like this one. It's the turkey pepper from Welsher and it's 94% fat free. So I'm gonna throw these on, get the eggs cooking and then get my protein pancakes going. All right, coffee time. I think he likes the hazelnut one. We'll do hazelnut. Check and check. Latte on the way. All right guys, just made my iced matcha. I did really strong matcha at the bottom, added in some water, ice, and stevia. Then, I don't know why I never thought to cold foam my oat milk. I usually just pour it in, but why not be a little extra and pour that delicious. Oh shoot, there's a lot left. All right, we got our little straw. Note to self, do less oat milk so I can get more of the frothiness at the top. Beautiful. Okay, we got our matcha. We got our latte for Cal. We got Cal's bacon eggs and sausage. Did a little slice of toast. Oh, that's beautiful. That's some nice bread. Okay, got that. Here's my finished pancakes. They look so good. You can top with whatever. I did raspberries. I'm not a fan of maple syrup, so I'm just not gonna do any syrup. I just eat them dry. I also had to make myself some sausage. There we go, it looks so good. Most of all now, most importantly, we need to make breakfast for the queen. So Daisy's food varies. I always have the same kibble. She's been eating the same kibble for a long time. And then I mix in different things to make sure 
sure she stays nice and healthy and gets more nutrients and protein and everything like that. Also, when I say Daisy is a picky eater, she is the most picky eater ever, but she loves this kibble she has forever. And then as I said, the mix-ins vary. This is from a bougie, I swear to God, she eats better than us. Bougie food store in LA. It's called Just Food for Dogs. They do like human grade food. You can go into the store, you can deliver it. They are really great, but they have like a few things on the menu. There's like venison and squash. There's beef and potato. This is chicken and rice, which she really likes. So in here, I could literally eat a spoonful of this if I wanted to. It's ground chicken, rice, carrots. It looks like maybe spinach or something. Obviously all safe for dogs. Then for supplements and just healthy things, I add a little bit of Omega Plus into her food which is basically like a fish oil. This is really good for her coat. It keeps it nice and shiny. You put in about a half teaspoon of that. And then also I add in, I've been doing this for a couple years now. This is a skin and allergy care. It is a supplement that is like a little pill. So it looks like this, it's a little capsule. So she's half Shih Tzu and half Maltese, but Shih Tzus are notorious for having skin issues. Also side note, this is good for joints, which her breed is also notorious for having kind of like joint issues and things as they get older. So we're taking care of that as much as we can and then I add the little capsule in. So Shih Tzu specifically are known for having skin issues and a lot of allergies, so this is good. I just throw it all in, and she doesn't mind the taste at all, which is great. Mix it all in so it's well combined, and then she goes to town on this as soon as we start eating. There we go. Breakfast of champions. Hi guys, okay, it is like an hour later or so. I went upstairs, I had a little me time. I did a little bit of meditating. I've been trying to learn how to meditate because there's just been a lot going on right now and I've had really conflicted emotions and I've just been feeling a lot and I actually had like a phone call meeting with my doctor. Obviously I couldn't go into the hospital but I've been having some issues and so I talked to my doctor and she let me know that meditating could probably be a benefit to my health. So I've been trying to do that. It's a little harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I've been practicing. Another thing is, a big question that I get from you guys is what happened to my Invisalign? Am I still doing Invisalign? So to be fully honest, no. I started it and I did the first couple months. It was really great for me and then at one point I traveled and I forgot to bring the trays with me and then after that I just kind of fell off. But I'm starting it back up again, which is exciting and I am so, so set on actually finishing it this time. So I went in a few months ago to get fitted for them again and then I had my appointment scheduled to go back and get them put on and everything like that. Obviously, I was not able to go in, so they just mailed the first month of them to me at my house, which is awesome. All right, so we're gonna put them on. One of my buttons did fall off, actually. It fell off a few months ago, and unfortunately, I can't go in to get the button put back on, obviously, but we're gonna make it work. All right, in case you don't know, this is what they look like. Just brush my teeth, ready to put in. Oh! I remember the first week was really not that bad, and then as the weeks go on, it gets tighter and tighter. Not too shabby. Well, they're actually pretty easy to talk with. Okay, also I need water, I'm so thirsty. All right, it's Thursday, and I'm gonna keep these on for a week, and we'll switch it every Thursday now. I'll keep you guys updated with the whole process. I'm still trying to learn how to talk with them right now. <laughs> All right, two thumbs up. So, today, my house is a mess. There is so much just junk everywhere, and I wanna organize everything. Oh, I never showed you. As I mentioned, I've been dealing with a little bit of uneasiness lately, and <laughs> my voice. I've been trying to find new things that kind of help me feel a little bit less anxious. And one thing that I love doing is knitting. <laughs> So I took knitting back up. Actually, there's a Michaels by my house and they're doing a great job at social distancing. You can go online and purchase your items and then click pick up in store. Then you go to the store, you park your car, you call a certain phone number and you let them know that you're outside, you give them your information and then you open your trunk and they'll just leave everything in the trunk for you. You close the trunk and you can leave. You literally don't even come close to contact with anybody. So in case you didn't know, I love knitting. My mom taught me to knit when I was a kid. I literally haven't done it in years. So there are a few drop stitches I kind of messed up a bit, but not bad for the first time in like a decade. I was in the knitting club in fifth grade in case you're wondering, but yeah, I just love doing it. I like doing it while I'm watching TV. It keeps my hands busy to be fully honest. It's also keeping me off of like Instagram and TikTok and Twitter and things because I can't go on my phone while knitting. So it's been really nice to help me clear my head and I am actually knitting a blanket for Steph and her baby. This is Steph's first year as a mother on Mother's Day and I want to give her a gift because she's my first 
mom friend ever. So I'm knitting this for Grayson and then I'm gonna mail out maybe like a little blanket for her and some little like skincare, maybe like a face mask or something. Just something cute and small just to say, congrats on being a mom. This yarn is actually made to make baby blankets, which is so cool. It's super soft. And then I realized also, if you kind of roll it out, it looks like a bath mat. Like, you know, those chenille bath mats. I did this all in a day though, which actually is pretty good. I haven't picked it up in the past couple days, but I'll probably finish it tonight maybe. So if anybody is struggling at home and you're bored and you just want something to do, I highly recommend picking up something more creative, like drawing, knitting, whatever it may be. I've been loving it. All right, I'm gonna clean and I'll keep you updated. This is gonna take me a while. Okay, you guys, I've been unboxing a bunch of stuff and I just found this in the mail. I totally bought this from TikTok. It is a drink dispenser thing. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so on one tray, there's 10. I took the three piece off and then I'm left with seven. There's another one over by the door that I'll show you guys after, but I'm going to use this to organize all of the drinks and cans in my cabinet here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So it's like a spring load. It's literally what they have at the grocery stores and things, but it's so nice because you can put all your drinks back and keep them nice and organized. And I saw a guy had it in his fridge. It's like blowing up on TikTok right now, but I thought it was so cool. Okay, I'm gonna fill it and I'll show you after. We're back. Oh my God, it's so clean. We've got Truly Laminades. We've got a mixture of Bud Light Seltzer and White Claws here. Alanya New Energy Drinks, a bunch of La Croix, some more Monsters, Alanya New, and then Coke. These are for Sarah. These are for Eli when they eventually come back to me. But it looks so good. All right, guys, taking a little break to eat lunch. For lunch, I am doing something that was inspired by the Skinny Confidential. I saw them on her Instagram. These are cauliflower thins. I'm going to be honest. I like the ones from Erewhon more, but I have not been able to get to an Erewhon, obviously. Erewhon's are super far from me now. So I just got this at Whole Foods. It is a plant power sandwich thin and they look like this. They're so good. I actually just put them in the toaster because I'm having them for lunch. I'm gonna do three, but normally for a snack, I'll just do one, maybe two. Pop them in there for now. I like to toast them at like a six. Today I'm gonna make one into an avocado toast. So I have an egg going on the stove. Gonna put some avocado on there. And then the other ones I love to do are my garlic spread. This one's from Whole Foods, but usually I get it at Trader Joe's and heirloom tomatoes are in season and oh my God, I do a big slice of heirloom tomato. It is so good. I'm also gonna make some turkey roll-ups or chicken roll-ups. I'm gonna throw in some cucumber, I'll throw in some onions and then roll them up and that'll be lunch. All right, guys, here is lunch. We got the little chicken roll-ups. We got my cauliflower little pizza thins. Did the garlic, the heirloom tomato, did the fresh basil, everything but the bagel, pepper and red pepper. This one has avocado under the egg, red pepper, everything but the bagel. A Little bit of primal kitchen mayo and these chicken slices, a little bit of red onion, little cucumber, everything but the bagel. Rolled it up, that's lunch. I'm so excited. Good morning. It's the next morning. Cal made me breakfast. Sure did. Thank you. We have eggs, chicken sausage, avocado, and then heirloom tomatoes are in season. Woo! All right, this is breakfast. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know how to end the clip, so it's just a thumbs up. Hi guys, okay, please excuse the slightly messy background. Hello, I just had breakfast. It's the next day, thank goodness, the air just shut off. Okay, so as you guys saw yesterday, I pretty much just spent the entire day cleaning. I organized a bunch of stuff, and then I still have so much stuff to do today. But I wanted to end the vlog off with a haul because I just got a bunch of random PR stuff in the mail. So let's just jump into it, it's very random. First up, we have a little bag here from Beauty Blender. So they sent this over with a cute little note just saying that they hope that we're all safe and healthy and hope that this will help us get us through the quarantine. Oh my God, cute. Okay, we have a little beauty blender sponge. This is a selfie shield primer. This has SPF of 38, wow. As we all know, I've been taking really good care of my skin. I feel like it's looking a lot better. And a big thing that I've been doing is wearing sunscreen every single day. So definitely SPF is important. Okay, we have some Hum Collagen Pop. Oh my God, there's hand sanitizer. I only have like three of my little Bath and Body Works ones left. So this will come in handy. We've got a little mask. We've got their concealers. Thank you so much to them. Thank you so much to everybody who sent over stuff. You guys are all so sweet and I did not need any of this stuff. Next up, we have the Tarte's new Hydro Concealer Blending Sponge and then their Hydro Concealer. I am so obsessed right now with the Tarte C line. I've been using that cream bronzer. Ooh, this looks nice. I'll definitely have to get a tan to use this, but I'm excited. Okay, next up, this is something that I purchased myself. I got it on Amazon and I got it because I saw Lauren talking about it and it looks amazing. I'll link it down below for you guys on my Amazon shop, but apparently Apparently, it's like the best thing ever if you have baby hairs. I struggle with baby hairs like no other. Can you guys see all my little ones sticking up right now? This is the Best Land Finishing Hair Cream. Apparently, it just looks like a little mascara wand. Oh my gosh. And you open it up and it has a little, whoa. It literally is like a mascara wand. Apparently, you just put it on your baby hairs and it keeps them all down. Wow. I have such bad baby hairs, especially like in the back of my head when I do like a 
ponytail. I'm curious to see if it's like oily or if it continues to look oily or if it gets crunchy. I'll keep you updated, but wow, that looks really good so far. Okay, got that. That I'm actually very excited about. Next up, from my favorite hair company ever, this is insert name here. I have to give them a shout out. First up, they sent me this ponytail extension that is, I think, inspired by like Casey Musgraves, and it is this long, ponytail extension. I don't want to take it out yet because it's hard to get back in, but it's like a long ponytail extension with all these sparkles in it. I thought it was so pretty. This would be perfect for like Coachella or for a concert or something like that. That would be so cute actually for like an Ariana Grande concert. So they sent me this and then they also sent me a whole pack of extensions. They are so sweet. They messaged me. They're like, hey Ram, we saw you cut your hair. We love it so much, but do you want some extensions to clip back in if you ever want long hair again? And I was like, oh my gosh, that actually sounds really fun. So I got some of these. Thank you so much to them. Their quality is seriously so, so good, guys. I get mine in the color natural black because I have naturally black hair, as we can see, but they're so amazing. I wore their ponytail extensions when I did that Ariana Grande Halloween look. They're amazing, so I love them. Thank you to them. All right, guys, next up, 437 sent me over some swimwear, which I love their swimwear. If you guys have never tried it, it is seriously the softest thing ever. My two favorite swim brands by far are Kulani Kinis and 437, so they all come in this really nice pouch which I really like, and they're all handmade and they're gorgeous. So I haven't seen what they sent me. This one is, oh, I love this color. I think this is the one that Whitney's wearing in her profile picture, I'm such a stalker. They're so soft and so nice. They're like double lined. This I'm guessing is like a tie bandeau top and like a brown color and then the matching bottoms. <gasps> I love, they have really nice high-waisted bottoms. So here's the bottoms for those. And then they also sent over this top and cheetah, oh I love. It's like a tie knot front one. That's the top and then these are the bottoms. They're super cute and little, oh these are cheeky bottoms. All right, moving on. I did make an order on Sephora for the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. I'm so excited all the stuff came in. So the things that I got are these. First up, I got a bunch of slip products, which if you guys have never tried slip products, they are the literal best. Basically all their products are just made out of 100% silk. They are so soft. First up, I got two slip pillowcases and these are just pure silk pillowcases. First up, they are so soft and second, they actually have a lot of beauty benefits. Like they're really good for your hair. It helps you actually not break your hair as much when you're sleeping on them. This is the pillowcase. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I want to wear a silk robe right now. And they're normally pretty pricey so I'm glad that I got them on the sale. So I got two pillowcases and then I also got a sleep mask. This is what the sleep mask looks like. It's so soft and it's my favorite sleep mask I've ever used. And then I also picked up these little scrunchies. I already have their scrunchies in the really big ones and the really small ones. So I decided to get the medium size and these are the best you guys. Again, as I said, they don't break your hair. They don't slip out. They're really nice. I even use them to work out sometimes. These are like the perfect size I think if you have like medium hair. They're really nice to wear around your wrist. I think they're cute and they also don't like cut off any sort of circulation. So that's amazing. I also picked up these little hair clips. These are just the Sephora brand like little, what are these like? Alligator clips. I just always lose these and I always need hair clips when I'm doing my hair because I section off my hair to do it. And these are on sale, so I got those. I also picked up this foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Here it is, focus, focus. Okay, now that I've been feeling a lot more confident in my skin, I felt like I could go for a way more light coverage foundation, so I wanted to give this one a try. Also from the sale, I picked up a couple candles. I love a bougie candle, but I don't like to pay a really big price tag on them, so these were already on like half off and then on top of that I got them on sale even more so I picked them up these are the Capri blue candles which are like super famous and so good they last forever and this is in the scent guava blossom which if you guys know me I am, oh my God, I love guava so much. So I had to pick these up. I love the color. I thought they matched the kitchen. I'm literally lighting candles all day long here, especially since I'm home all the time. So I picked up a couple of these to put in the kitchen and they smell so good. Last few things, I got some peel and stick wallpaper from Wayfair actually. You guys probably recognize this design. I used to have this in my old office, but that wallpaper that I bought was actually from like a specialty wallpaper company, which I love using, but they're super, super pricey. And for something like this Dalmatian print that's so popular, you can get this at Target, you can get this on Wayfair, I figured I would just get it for way cheaper and do it myself. It was so much more inexpensive than the specialty places and it's just peel and stick and I'm gonna do this myself in my glam room. Last few boxes. This is from I don't know who. <gasps> 
Becca sent me stuff. Okay, first of all, what a cute box. I love that. In here, this shimmering skin perfecter in champagne pop, which is the best. Another, oh my God, this one's my favorite. This shimmering skin perfecter in topaz is so pretty. Oh, they also sent one in moonstone. Oh, and then this one is a limited edition one. What is this? Own your life. I just got a whole box of highlighters. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. And then you open it. Oh, it's a pretty like rose goldy one. This is gorgeous. So to everybody in the US who purchases this, $5 of their sale is going to go to the Jet Foundation, which is so sweet. The packaging is gorgeous, the color is gorgeous. If you like a nice like rose gold highlight, that is so for you. You can also use it like as a blush. Last but not least, my wonderful friend Cassie, or Blogilati, sent me over some new stuff from her new Pop Flex line, which is so exciting. I love her so much, she's seriously the best. So I thought I would open up for you guys on camera, and I am gonna work out like right after this, after Cal finishes building the thing in the garage. Oh my God, I'm so gonna wear this today. First up, this is the top. I love this burnt orange color that is so cute. Seriously, her designs are like, oh, wait, oh my God, I just realized, are the pants the pants that I really wanted? Please be the pants that I really wanted. Please be the pants I really wanted. Yeah! Oh my gosh, okay. These are the pants that she just dropped as well. And you guys, I'm not even kidding when I say, back when I wanted to start my activewear line, this is what I wanted to do so, so, so badly. I am obsessed with a waistline like this. I'm so glad that someone did it. As we all know, I have a very straight body and angles like this, if you can see, it's like a V cut in the front, gives you the illusion of hips. So I was so excited to do leggings with this kind of like waistline. Obviously the activewear company wasn't able to be made, but I am so excited to have these. I love the color too, and she makes the best quality stuff. So here is the bottom, here is the top. This top is also like my favorite cut ever. This is gonna be my new favorite outfit. And then she also sent over a yoga mat, which you guys, when I say that Cassie makes the best yoga mats Ever. I am not exaggerating in the slightest. Oh my god, so cute. This is a vegan suede and this is in the print pressed flowers. So it comes with a little strap, which is great if you go to yoga or whatever and you like just throw it on your back after. I would always walk to yoga back when I lived in downtown. So it was great to just be able to like walk home with it. Here is the yoga mat. It is seriously, do you see how like thick it is? I love the suede-ish feeling on the front. I love even more that it's vegan. Oh, I love that fresh yoga mat smell. I love this pattern. I am so excited. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's just a blanket now. Thank you so much, Cassie, for sending this over. Thank you to everybody for sending all this amazing stuff. Thank you to myself for buying stuff from the Sephora sale. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Thank you so, so much for watching and just enjoyed the vlog in general. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.